All right, man. So look, real quick, you know, everybody been talking about this Jada and Will entanglement thing. And I watched the video, man, and um, I watched the Red Table talk about it. And it wasn't really uh, that bad. I thought that they actually came through with very mature, cognizant adults who knew what they were doing. Um, I felt like they didn't need even need to come out and address it for real. Because if you watch the Red Table talk, I'm sorry, if you watch the August Alcina video with Angela Yee, it wasn't even that serious. I think what happened is once he said Will gave him his blessing, now see that, that takes it from uh, a relationship where Jada was doing whatever she want because they end up, they have, she has an understanding with her husband uh, or they in an open relationship or they on a break or whatever they doing. She, she was doing it in compliance, I guess, with what she had agreed to with her husband at the time, right? So it takes it from that to Will basically sitting there holding her legs back <laughs> or pushing August's ass into the pussy. Right, like wow, it like the whole he gave me his blessing thing. I think that's what what made it go off the rails, man. Because you know you can't be just giving out blessings out here, you know, especially if it's not if y'all not officially swingers, right? Like so, and according to them, they're not officially swingers. So if you ain't officially a swinger, and y'all ain't officially in the swapping, then you telling somebody that some man gave you the blessing to smash his wife that's what we got to address it now and so that's i think was the problem man and um it was weird because the way jada and will were talking about this dude they were calling him aug aug oh yeah aug this and aug that what like he was their homie and i'm guessing he was at some point i don't even follow them but apparently when they were actually dating it wasn't a secret right so I guess it wasn't a big deal at the point because everybody already knew about it when it was going on. So this isn't a revelation about the actual interaction more so than I think the, I think the whole thing was said all by he said he got his blessing. And that, you know, so now the, the crazy part about it was that they talked about how August came to them as this sick guy who was in need of healing and all this shit i'm like yo what does that even mean he was sick like was he physically sick like like was he, he like sick sick or he was mentally uh in a place where he needed to you know to be comforted and that's what it sound like right but their terminology was weird as fuck and then if he was sick then that's also a problem right so that means y'all took advantage of a sick and vulnerable person right now i don't know you know the timeline of when he entered into their family dynamic to when will and jada separated for a point in time and then their relationship started or whatever all that's kind of foggy for me but if y'all saying y'all welcome him welcome him in and basically knew he was going through some shit and then chose to take advantage of that situation in whatever form or fashion, that's kind of shady. I'm not going to say that Jada preyed on him like a lot of people are saying, right? Like a lot of people are saying, oh, she's a predator and all this shit. You know, mm, I don't know. He was a man. He was a grown man. Like He was a legally, he was of legal age uh, and all that. So yeah, she, you know, she pounced on on a, a opening that she had, you know, to form whatever relationship they had, but ain't that everybody do that, right? That was their point of, of uh, what do you call it? Like that's where that's that was her opening. That was her point of, of uh, what you, like synergy, I guess, right? And it's kind of fucked up, but that's what she did, right? People do that all the time. Men do that to women all the time. Women do that to men all the time. You find out something that y'all got in common. Or some kind of struggle, love, or some kind of uh, what they call it—a um, uh, uh, trauma bonding, right? So they trauma bonded, and people do that every day, right? It's not—it's not unique to Jada 
or Will or whoever or this situation. People do trauma bonding every day. Be all right. So they trauma bonded, and that's what happened. And he and you know I don't, people talking about him. He was a boy and young. He was a man. He was a grown man. He was a youngin compared to her. She definitely used her cougar uh, 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 life experiences and, and you know, just age to, to finesse him. But, hey, he knew what he was doing. He ain't, they, she, they ain't lock his ass in the room. They ain't tie him up. She ain't tie him to the bed and sit on his face and no crazy shit. He did what he wanted to do. It ain't work out, and now he hurt. And so the problem is he violated the standard code of side piece, right? Side pieceology dictates schedule two. This is a schedule two offense. Okay, we're gonna use because y'all like drugs and jail and all that type of shit. So a schedule two drug offense. That's kind of like what this is. He completely violated the code. Now it wasn't like top top, but it was close. Because you can't just be snitching after the fact. It's already done. You, if you was going to talk all this, you should have, you know what I'm saying? Well, actually, you know what? He ain't even really snitched, but he shouldn't have brought it up, right? Even though Angelie Yee brought it up, he should have just been like, you know what? I don't got no more comment on that. That already happened. Everybody know what that was. I commented on everything I need to say. I said it back then when he was actually fucking. All right, when we was actually fucking and dating, I said it then. Ain't nothing else to talk about with Will, with Jada and all this. That's all I got to say about it. Y'all need, y'all want to know what I got to think, go back and watch or read or whatever on my old shit. Now, the problem is I heard he got a, he got a documentary coming out, right? So, I mean, you know, all this stuff is all connected because he got some kind of reason to promote this shit. And he even got a documentary coming out or he got an album coming out or both or whatever. A documentary just came out, some shit. Anyway, so yeah, man, you know, I think it, it, this whole thing has been sized up and hyped beyond belief, and it shouldn't even be for real. But the the funny part about the whole thing is, I'm proud of Will for calling her out when she kept saying shit like what she brought up in entanglement, right? He's like entanglement, <laughs> like what, what is that? And right, so just say y'all was fucking. Like, I don't understand, though. It's in a relationship, like he said, right? An entanglement. It's a relationship. Yeah, I was dating this guy, or I was fucking this guy, whatever the case is. Just say that's what it is, an entanglement. And she was using every, she used, let me see, she used help heal him. She was helping to heal him, fuck him. Uh, she said she was, she was on her journey, fuck him. Uh, and then she used entanglement. So she used three words around the name fucking and the, and the relationship to describe the fact that they were like, why do that? Come on now. Just say it. It's what it is. 2020. Mother is doing everything in the whole wide world. Trump is still the president. Uh, and he doing whatever he want. Everybody doing whatever they want. Everybody needs to stop trying to hide. It's now is the time for you to just be as free as possible because you can literally do anything right now okay um so yeah then you got um you know that whole all thing was fucking me up ain't no way even if we were in an open relationship or whatever i had an understanding with my wife that she could have a side dick or whatever i'm not calling this motherfucker aug i ain't calling my i'm not calling my wife's pet i'm not calling my wife's side dick a pet name i don't care I don't care if I already knew this motherfucker or oh, not. <laughs> He's not getting a pet name from me, y'all. They're like, what are we talking about right now? So Will kind of weird on that shit. But I don't know. I've always heard that Will is a wild boy. Right? And I, you know, there was also a theory that Will, that August was really Will's joint. And that Jada was covering for him as the beard, you know what I'm talking about, like, Jada was, like, nah, that's really my joint, but in real life, they, they was trying to recruit Aug, <laughs> recruit Aug for Will, and then Aug went off with Jada, or whatever the case may happen, or 
after Will was done, they was like, all right, whatever. We're going to just say Jada was fucking with him. Or now time to fuck with him now that I done got what I got. Or whatever the case is. That's another little side joint that, you know, people need to explore. All right? Um, let me see. What else? And, man, when they ended this joint with uh, uh, Ride Together, <laughs> Die Together, Bad Marriage for Life, and did the little pound, that was funny to me. But it was it's a very interesting thing um, that they said bad marriage for life. Because I think that people, uh, you know, people just want to be married, man. Like people don't really care about love and uh, 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 being comfortable necessarily over just being like, I can tell somebody I'm married. I can flash my ring. I can do whatever, right? Well, I can say, oh, I'm married for 25 years, which they said, right? We 25 years and counting or whatever. But you really want to be in a bad marriage for 25 years? Or a marriage where you got to be out here accepting a side dick when you don't really want to? No. If y'all was open, that's different. But if you're not with it, that's, that's like, like, why do that? Just so you can stunt on people and say, we, we married or be counted in the marriage population? Or like, I don't get what the point is, right? Why be in a situ? Why continue to stay in a situation that you don't want to be in for the sake of what? Now, in this case, they married, they got kids, and all this shit. And I'm assuming Will makes the most money between the two, so maybe it's a thing where he need to stay in that marriage for financial reasons or whatever. And he, you know, he probably got his side joints too. But either way, you know, what I'm saying it sounds like they was. Like that, that little bad marriage for life thing is real complicated because on one hand, you tell them motherfuckers to stay, you know, you, you promoting marriage or the, the institution of marriage and pushing through and loving people no matter what they do and all this type of stuff. But then on the other hand, most people, most people look at marriage as an exclusivity situation, right? So it ain't a lot of people in open marriages willingly. Ain't a lot of willful open marriages out here. Ain't a lot of people out here like, oh, yeah, like we can do whatever we want. Most people looking at that is as marriages. I got my person and that's all. it, and, and that's it. And we together ain't nobody else coming in here. So if that's not your jam and you still choosing to push through, but you still proud of being married because you push through some fuck shit. That's weird. I don't agree with that. Uh, but I do agree with if they if they were saying that look this is what we do our marriage ain't traditional and we good with our non traditional marriage by, by all means live it up and you, then you say great marriage great understanding marriage great marriage of flexibility and openness and we love each other and we have a great marriage because we accept each other for who we are right and now you be great marriage. For life. Because that's what you should be promoting. Not bad marriage. Right? Like, I think that that's kind of weird. But whatever, man. It's uh, it's interesting to watch a lot of the, uh, people's reaction to it, man. A lot of y'all out here caring about a dick and a pussy that y'all ain't never going to get. <laughs> right? And I think that applies to a lot of people who worry about who somebody else fucking gay pansexual, this sexual, that sexual, LGBTQ, LMNOP, all this shit. Why does anybody care? Somebody's sexual preference can't get any less relevant to your life unless you fucking that person too. And most times you ain't. So who cares what anybody else doing with their penis or their vagina if you ain't playing with it too? <laughs> who cares what they do? It don't matter. Literally don't matter. But, uh, yeah, man. Uh, let's see what else I got on here. Oh, and I want y'all, and one thing she kept saying, she was like, oh, I wasn't happy in a long time. Long, long time. <laughs> but what you talking about you weren't happy for a long time? So why be in the marriage? But again, like, what y'all talking about? And don't be saying long, long, long to me so many goddamn times talking about some other dude's dick. <laughs> I I, I, don't know. I think that was funny, man. I know I'd have been like, all right, we done heard enough longs at this point, Jada. Okay? Like, simmer down on the long. Right? Um, 
<laughs> it was just so much shit. Uh, there's so much shit in that in that interview, man. Even though it was only 12 minutes long, it was a lot. Um, and then uh, the last thing, man, is I keep y'all keep I keep seeing this thing going around talking about uh, Jada got that Jada and Erica Badu got that crazy cougar cooch. <laughs> And I don't know if that's really true. I don't know who else, who else that Jada that turned out. So I could we everybody assuming that he she done turned August out, right? Who else Jada done turned out? I don't know. She uh I don't know. But we know Erica Badu got a whole bunch of joints. She got, yeah. We Erica Badu's joint is not even up for debate. And I don't think Jada's in that realm right now. Jada just got this one joint. I don't know what kind of level artist is August Alcina. I don't even know. I don't follow his music. Uh, I ain't even really. Yeah, I don't know. Is he B level? Is he a B celebrity or C celebrity? But Erica Badu be getting out here with these A list celebrities. <laughs> she be converting converting bands from rappers to uh, to sages. <laughs> they be going. Uh, 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 Andre Andre went from where? Goddamn. Falcons jerseys, Hawks jerseys, to wearing a tutu, dog. A t like, come on, man. A tutu. A halter top. And that, that puts you in a space. That means she transferred some of her so much feminine energy to that man. This boy just said, hey, look, I don't even need to be masculine no more. <laughs> I'm good. Because I like, that felt so good. I want that too. <laughs> but yeah man um man shout out to jada and will man living their best life despite what any of y'all or me or us think right who cares they got millions of dollars stunting on everybody uh healing everybody with their dick and pussy right because i know will will got to have i mean joints everywhere right i mean he makes the most money, right? He's been in all the movies. He's always playing. Like, most of his characters are always supposed to be, like, these uh, Casanova playboy-type dudes, right? And most of the time, even in the joints, like, Men in Black, he was, you know, like, the cool guy or whatever. So, come on, man. Like, whatever. Whatever they doing, let them do it. Who cares, man? But y'all stay up, man. I just wanted to drop that real quick. I'll holler at y'all later. Go on CousinCornbread.com. Sign up for the newsletter. All right. Uh, on CousinCornbread.com. Go shopping on Cornbread's Closet. Get you some statement tees, whatever you're going to do. I appreciate y'all, man. I'll holler at y'all later. Log out.